Okay, so we're going to try these, these uh, tri-clips out today. And first of all, this is the main reason why we need something to hold our shoes in place. It's for the transition. These shoes are flopping all over the place. If you were to go to get on it, your shoe would be upside down, you'd have to flip it around. And that's the main reason why people put rubber bands in place and they attach it here. And same with the other shoe, so that when you hop on the, uh, hop on the bike, your shoes are in a steady position. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach these tri-clips to show you uh, exactly how they work and how effective they are. So let's start off with the first tri-clip. Um, from experimenting with it, it's so far it's a little clumsy as far as I'm concerned in regards to the, the shape of the tri-clip itself. I'm going to attach this one a little higher than, uh, than I would a rubber band. Now if you notice, doesn't really fit the bike that well and you've got a big flap here hanging out that eventually is going to catch on something it's going to fall out sure I can fix that no problem but it is a little awkward at this point so let me flip the shoe around here clip this first one into place clip that like so okay so it acts like the rubber band now let me go around to the other side and do the other shoe here real quick. This one will also clip up higher. Okay, and now bring this one down and into place. So now we have the shoes in a steady position. Um, so as we go into transition and we go to jump on our bike, our shoes will be in a position that we want them to be. And once again, you can adjust these you know, to the proper position that you want to. Now here's the trick, is when you go to jump in your shoes and you move this forward, clip will snap into place. So you've got your first shoe in. The only thing that worries me is just flapping around here and the, and the security of it, which I can I can secure up better. Um, this was just for demonstration purposes to show you how they work. But um, I think this beats rubber bands because rubber bands are not that dependable. I would like to have an extra set of these on race day just in case these break. But anyways, these are the tri-clips. You can go to tri-clips.com. I believe they're $22. Um, and they're pretty good, and they'll send them to you in, the, in uh, just a couple of days. So those were the tri clips in action. Uh, I'll be very curious to see over the next few months as I as I practice with them, practice my transitions. Uh, I ended up doing very good in my transition transitions last year, but that's one thing that I'd like to decrease my time in even more because. Those are just seconds that they give you that would be um, awesome to be able to make up during a race. Uh, today, I'm pretty tired. I uh, biked to the pool for my swim workout, so I did a bike, swim, bike, because I had to come back. And then I ran with my wife, so I had a run. I ran again, and I ran a pretty decent pace, so I did a run, run, and then core. So I did bike, swim, bike, run, run, core. It's about uh, 10 o'clock at night and I'm beat. I apologize, it, by the time I get these recorded, edited, um, posted, you know, it's usually the next day. So if I'm s talking about any time sensitive information, um, I apologize because it is probably the next day that you're seeing this. Uh, I do try to limit my editing to a minimum. I try to make this blog be as realistic as possible because um, I'm just a normal person like you and uh, you and you and you. So, um, I think that will be the success of this blog, is me speaking directly to you as a fellow triathlete. Tomorrow, I'm going to show you a little uh, clip that I've actually forgot to include thus far. Uh, my wife was uh, kind enough to videotape um, my leg when I did my KT taping the other day. Actually, my black is gone. I'm not using that right now. But uh, we, we videotaped the actual process of, of applying those two pieces of KT tape to help with my IT band. 
By the way, I went out running today. No IT band. I'm going to go out running. Let's see, today's Tuesday. Um, I'm going to go out running again Thursday. I'm going to remove all, um, all elements of any type of support that I'm using. The IT band compression strap and the uh, KT tape. And I'm going to see how I do. I think I'm over it. I just have to go out there and mentally do one without any of those crutches and uh, we'll see how it goes. So tomorrow, KT taping episode and a recap of tomorrow's workouts. See ya.